more than 500 dead as 7.8 magnitude earthquake hits southern Turkey and Syria. Rescuers are racing to find survivors trapped beneath rubble either side of the Turkey-Syrian border as the death toll from one of the strongest earthquakes to hit Turkey in 100 years rose beyond 500 people. Nearly 3,000 others were injured as the 7.8 magnitude quake shook residents from their beds around 4 a.m. Monday morning, sending tremors as far away as Lebanon and Israel. The earthquake's epicenter was 23 kilometers, 14.2 miles, east of Nerdagi, in Turkey's Gaziantep province, at a depth of 24.1 kilometers, 14.9 miles, the United States Geological Survey, USGS, said. Video from the scene in Turkey showed day breaking over rows of collapsed buildings, some with apartments exposed to the elements as people huddled in the freezing cold beside them, waiting for help. It felt like it would never be over journalist Ayot Kordi, who lives in Gaziantep and was staying with his parents when the earthquake struck early Monday, said it felt like it would never be over. When the shaking stopped, Kordi and his parents walked out of their home still wearing their pajamas, he said. With several inches of snow on the ground, they waited outside in the rain for about 30 minutes before he could go back inside to grab coats and boots. Strong aftershocks have been felt in southern and central Turkey. About 11 minutes after the main quake hit, the strongest aftershock of 6.7 magnitude hit about 32 kilometers 20 miles, northwest of the main quake's epicenter. Another intense aftershock with a magnitude of 5.6 then occurred 19 minutes after the main quake, in Turkey, at least 284 people were killed and more than 2,300 injured, according to Vice President Fuat Oktay. In neighboring Syria, at least 237 people died and more than 630 were injured, Syrian state news agency Sana reported citing a Ministry of Health official. The deaths were reported in Aleppo, Latakia, Hama, and Tartus. Dozens of people are trapped under rubble, according to the White Helmets Group, officially known as Syria Civil Defense, a humanitarian organization formed to rescue people injured in conflict. Much of northwestern Syria, which borders Turkey, is controlled by anti-government forces amid a bloody civil war that began in 2011. Monday's quake is believed to be the strongest to hit Turkey since 1939, when an earthquake of the same magnitude killed 30,000 people, according to the USGS. Earthquakes of this magnitude are rare, with fewer than five occurring each year on average, anywhere in the world. Seven quakes with magnitude 7.0 or greater have struck Turkey in the past 25 years, but Monday's is the most powerful. Carl Lang, an assistant professor at Georgia Tech University's School of Earth and Atmospheric Sciences, told CNN the area hit by the quake Monday is prone to seismic activity. It's a very large fault zone, but this is a larger earthquake than they've experienced any time in recent memory, Lang said.